All right, so we're going to tape some screens here. And this is one of those skills that uh, you either can do or you can't. And between taping screens, putting the shirts on the press, and coating screens, those are probably the three things that you either get it or you don't. And if you don't get it, don't do it because all you're doing is spending a lot of time and frustration trying to get it done and uh, create more problems along the way. So, a couple things to do when coating, when taping screens. We've got aluminum screens and then we've got wood ones. If you're starting out and you've never done this before, practice on the wood. Wood is much easier. The take this uh, tape is really uh, sticky to the aluminum and it's going to catch and make things much harder. So when we tape screens, the reason we do this is to keep ink from flowing around the outside and getting into uh, the garment while we're printing. We don't want that to happen. So when we tape, uh, I usually have this set up uh, on the shelf so that when I put it down, uh, wherever the end was, when I pick it up, the end should be on the right on the same spot all the time. Right now I'm at the table. I usually do this at the press. So I'm going to measure out and go just a little bit longer or at least this distance of the, so the length of the screen. Trim it. And I'm going to lay this down. I can either lay it on the screen uh, or the frame. doesn't matter as long as I am covering both surfaces. And when I do this, I want to lay this in here so that I don't have veins all over the place. This right here is, uh, works fine. I've got it up on the frame. I've got it covering the emulsion so that nothing's going to leak out in between. If I have a lot of veins coming in here um, when I tape this, it's going to create a problem. Those veins start to collect ink and they ooze their way out so they come out the back side and get on the shirt. So we don't want to do that. If you got veins, you got to work on trying to clean that up. So I'm going to do the, the other side here, same thing, measure it out. I like cutting instead of using my teeth to rip it. I think it's more precise. Lay it on the screen. I don't care about the veins on the side of the uh, frame. I do care about what's on the on the uh, screen itself. I'm then going to do one strip on top. Measure it out. And make sure it's on the screen. Press it in. I got to make sure these corners are down tight. If I have a um, a shallow curve here on these corners, the squeegee is going to catch it and it's going to pull it off. And that is a nightmare. I'm going to do this on top and bottom. All right. So a couple things I want to make sure I've done that's important when taping these screens. I got to make sure. All the edges are uh, are covered. I got to make sure it's on the frame. I want the long. I want I want the top and bottom be done last. If I don't, and I put the sides on uh, first, it's going to catch the sides and roll them back. Um, the automatic press is a little more finicky. I got to make sure uh, on the automatic press that these go up on the edges because sometimes the squeegee comes right up to the edge and wants to chop and come back. If it's a long job. Uh, you know, something, a couple hundred shirts or something, I'm also going to take another piece, strip it off, and I'm going to put it over the top edges here to help control any overflow of ink or any peeling back of the uh, tape from the flood bars with squeegees. I'm also going to take tape and put it on the long edge, flat on either side. Again, that's for a longer run. Uh, screens have a tendency to either break down, the tape breaks down, there's a rip in the screen, something happens, and the time to put down one more strip is much faster than having to clean up the production run and stop everything uh, in its tracks to clean up the screens, repair shirts, or um, reprint shirts later on. So, again, taping screens, hopefully you can do it. Once you, if you can do the wood screens, advance on to the metal screens, these are a little more difficult. We only need one strip around, make sure it's all covered up.